So earlier today we had a little bit of a scare because literally we had probably been driving for like 10 minutes since Myrtle Beach and we probably weren't even out of like actual Myrtle Beach yet and Nikayla's car started sounding like it was fucking dying. <laughs> like <laughs> so many different sounds that was scraping and then whining and then basically sounding like something had fallen out of the bottom of the car, all this stuff. So we had to sit in Starbucks for a few hours while Firestone checked it out and we were like looking at like, oh my gosh, what if we have to fly to the, fly like down the rest of the way and just go straight to Florida? What if we have to rent a U-Haul? The numbers were adding up. It was becoming a nightmare. And then Firestone called and was like, your car doesn't even, even need fixing. It's all fine. They charged her like 10 bucks just to look at it, which is nothing compared to what we were thinking we were gonna spend that day. And miracle of all miracles, we made it to Savannah for the night. Oh, looks so cute. Someone tell the bartender I'm ready for a Jack and Coke now. I can't take it anymore. Try to do one full set without drinking. That's so adorable. What you got? I'll just have one of everything. I may have been a bit ambitious ordering this too. So I just finished up at the gym. Um, when you're traveling and you have to get workouts in that like the hotel gym equipment just isn't enough for um it's super easy to just buy a day pass wherever you are and just like get it done um so that's what i did this morning and then i decided to just buy like a little post-workout zucchini bread from one of the local bakeries around here and then if you ever look at a map of savannah like every single block there's one of these just like garden parks squares like all all over the place so i just sat down in one and i'm just you know gonna relax for a little bit and then head back to the hotel and shower and then get our day started and we're gonna wander around Savannah a little bit more before we drive about two and a half hours to St. Augustine. our restaurant for this morning well restaurant number one <laughs> is this a southern thing that happens like what is going on here starting out with just a latte and a Thai iced coffee delish. Yeah. Cheers. First we have these oat milk pancakes with an espresso dusting and then this endless quiche 
And this is our view, which is so cute. Everywhere you walk in Savannah is like super, super green. And it's just like, so far, super freaking beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we're loving it. This might be like the prettiest part I've seen so far. talking about how like I initially planned to just tack Savannah on to like one of my other videos for this road trip but everywhere like literally every few feet we're just like wow this is gorgeous yeah. wow this is gorgeous this is so like cute. this is the probably one of the most gorgeous towns I think I've seen in the U.S. like maybe that's exaggerating I don't know but just we every did have a drink at <laughs> yeah we did but like you know, it is really Oh my gosh, look at this tree. It's all so green. So like on one hand, you're like in the middle of nature, but on the other hand, you're in the middle of like this really cute Southern city. And uh, I don't know, I'm in love. I'm in love. It's really cute. This like mossy stuff hanging off the trees has stolen my heart. I love it. Okay, we'll see if we survive. Gotta do it to get down to River Street. Whew. 